Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Frugal Fit Dad where I'm just at home working doing my own thing in my little home office only to find out that the hot water heater is no longer working so we're gonna take a quick little break from work to show you how we're gonna to try to fix the hot water heater. The hot water heater right there is not staying lit. We've tried relighting the pilot light multiple times, it doesn't work, so what we did is we ended up taking out the entire burner unit because I have a feeling, based on some research and some prior experience, that the main problem is this little unit right here at the end. That is called the thermocouple. That is what keeps your hot water heater pilot lit. Some people say if you can clean off the thermocouple really well with a little bit of sandpaper that it might come back to life. All right, let's put it back in and see what happens. Okay, so it's actually been about five minutes and already when we move the thermostat and I hear it click, there's no flame. So our little fix was not enough to save it. So we are going to have to order one online. Okay, so I found this Reliance hot water heater natural gas assembly. And I actually think this is going to work for my device. Now I put mine in, it's an AO Smith GCV 5100. And it says that we're not sure <laughs> if it fits. Um, but as I scroll down here, there's this awesome thing you can type in right here in Amazon. Have a question and I just type in AO Smith and it says, look, this part is perfect for the AO Smith hot water heaters 5100. And in fact, if I go down a little bit further and look at the customer images, I can see this is a GVR 50, but also from an AO Smith. And as I go through here, this looks identical to what I have. And so I'm gonna give this a shot. So we're gonna see if we can save ourselves some money because this one here is only $57, which beats the heck out of buying a new hot water heater. So we're gonna give that a shot and let you know how it works. Okay, here we are a few days later and our part has come in. So we're going to see if we can't get this installed and get all the hot water turned back on. Okay. Not quite as straightforward as I was hoping, but it never is. <laughs> so we're gonna turn this on, light the pilot light, get the burner going, and let's see if the pilot light stays lit after the burner turns off. So it usually takes about five to 20 minutes, depending on uh, the problem I've been having. So 10 minutes in, and the pilot light's out. I don't know what I'm doing. It's acting the same way with the new part as it did with the old part. So all things tell me that I don't know what's wrong and maybe I need a new hot water heater. This one is about 15 years old, so that could be it, but I don't know. After a little more research, I found out that the main problem was likely a bad solenoid in the control unit. Uh, that is possible to be replaced, but on a 15 year old water heater, I decided it just wasn't worth it. Well, the decision has been made that this 15 year old hot water heater has to go. So we tried to save it with adding a new thermocouple and it didn't work. So we got an estimate yesterday and to have Home Depot install this new hot water heater is a thousand dollars. That's on top of the $500 for the new hot water heater. So. We're going to try to save ourselves a thousand dollars today. Let me show you what I have. I have two hot water heaters. Both are gas, natural gas. Cold water comes in here, comes out here into the cold water on the second tank. It goes back out the hot to this side. So what I have to do is I've shut off the water. I have drained the water tank. I've drained the pipes. I've got the hose here connected, so I'm draining this whole tank. I've got the gas off. Our next step is going to be to disconnect here and here, and then we can get this out. We have successfully gotten 
the cold water connect disconnected the hot water is disconnected we've got the straps here undone <laughs> oops we've got the gas line is disconnected and i think at this point we are almost done draining the flue is disconnected i should say that everything here is nice and loose so we are seconds away from getting this pulled out Here is out of the way. Next step is we got this nice little kit from Home Depot. This is the hot water heater installation kit. Comes with two water hoses, a gas hose, comes with some gas grade tape here, and some connector pieces. I have a feeling I'm going to need to go back to the hardware store for one more piece. I know that I think I'm short, so. getting so much closer uh let me give you a little update of where we're at so we have hooked up the gas first in this particular case and we're going to turn on the gas in a second and test it with soapy water just to make sure that all of our connections with our tape and everything are holding good and we don't have any leaks with the gas we want to make sure we solve that before we go too much further as soon as we get that done and we get the good clear good, good to go you can see we've got the cold water line there and we've got our connections taped with Teflon tape. So we'll just get these put in there and we'll get the flue put on and we'll start filling. So we're getting very, very close. The pied de resistance right here is I think the last piece we need. We are going to use this little adapter and we're gonna connect that one to hot water out from here into cold water in here and that'll be how we connect the two hot water heaters together we are almost done last bit that andrew and i have to do is what we need to turn on all the hot water and get all the air out of the lines all the air out of the lines so we're going to start by Okay, I need you to go upstairs and do the same thing to the kitchen sink. All right, so just a small snag. This old line right here is giving us a little bit of leakage right here. We had some right here as well. So the way, the way we're going to solve that is we're going to go back to the store and we're going to buy one more hose like that. All right, moment of truth. We have finished just about everything here. We have our hot water heaters hooked together. We had to buy one extra hose here. Uh, that was a little extra cost, but I think that was $15. And this little connector part for the two of them was $10. So I think we're in $25. But we're going to try to light the pilot lights and see what happens and we have an audience <laughs> who have who have been helpers the whole way through all right there we go we have a pilot light so we're going to turn it on and we have flame guys all right andrew start to finish it took us like three hours right yeah was it hard not really not really it was the only hard part was really getting the old water heater up the stairs. Yeah, that was heavy. These two guys were troopers, but 
ultimately guys this was really not a hard project it took some time probably about three hours mostly because we were slow and working on doing a few things at once but it was really just a matter of going through the steps but we just saved ourselves at least nine hundred dollars yep dude 900 bucks worth every penny so i guess you could say i just paid myself 300 bucks an hour i guess yeah oh yeah okay everyone it's been about a day and so far so good this hot water here is rocking and rolling i'm absolutely stoked that i saved myself 900 bucks uh so far everything has just been as good as it could possibly be we tested the flu by putting a lit uh we lit a match and then blew it out right here and then made sure that the smoke was drawing really really nicely we did replace a 50 gallon hot water heater with a 40 gallon so now we have two 40 gallon hot water heaters i think that's sufficient for our needs so yeah we ended up with two of these hoses to connect the two hot water heaters together i think this was a pretty good compromise as far as not having to spend 1500 dollars to replace the hot water heater instead it only cost us about $550, maybe $575. I guess that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.